of the Tropical Fish Bonanza. I'm Bill Nye the Science Guy, and I'll be your host in this magically fun experience. And what kind of fun would it be without any educational lessons, too? Today we'll be looking at such fish such as the boxfish, or porcupine fish, the barracuda, and much, much more. But first, look, it's a duck inside of a duffel bag. Ouch, how does he do that? I wonder. Now, as we begin this educational journey, it seems as though we've run into the fearsome-looking grouper fish. With his massive jaw, he can eat other fish whole. This fish can get up to 90 pounds. Hey, that's a lot! And hey, look at this. Make sure you don't wet yourself, because right over there is the barracuda, a vicious-looking brute of a fish whose species travel in large schools. Hey, someone should tell these guys to get out of the pool and get back to school. <laughs> anyway, these fish are found in the Atlantic and subtropical areas. Shut up! I'm sorry. They can get up to three feet long. And you know, these fish may seem harmful, yet they only eat plankton. So don't worry, kids. They only look at us as big old pals. The swordfish eats other fish, resides in tropical seas, and can become many hundreds of pounds. Good like my mother-in-law! <laughs> oh, butternuts! The fancy smancy parrotfish has found us! And if you can't tell what animal that fish was named after, you'd have to be a doozy of a ninny! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you know, kids? These fish have a front much like the tropical bird, the parrot, and they consume shellfish and various types of coral with their beak-like nose. They live in numerous reefs and are usually up to 15 inches long. Now this fish isn't dead, but golly it sure looks like it, doesn't it, Junior? Doesn't it, Junior? Doesn't it? It does, but it's not. It is the odd flounder. This fish lays in the ocean bottom and waits for prey to come so that it may jump up and eat it. If you are wondering how it sees its prey if it is on the floor, well, if you look closer, you will notice that it has evolved to having both eyes on one side of its body. Kind of like this guy. Now for the cute and seemingly harmless looking boxfish. The other name acquainted with this fish is the porcupine fish. Watch out! It does blow up to be a few times its original size and does indeed have thorns. It does this so it may protect itself from predators. These fish feed on coral. And who would blame them? Yes, coral is good food. Look at more of these interesting fish. You will enjoy them! You see, the butterfly fish eats simple things in the sea, hangs out on coral reefs, and can generally be five inches long. The angelfish eats plants and is a worldwide fish that can be up to two feet long. The puffer fish is a lot like the boxfish, it eats coral and can be up to one foot long. Triggerfish eats shellfish and is generally located in the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean and is generally 60 centimeters long. Now, if you want to see the actual shellfish, well, that's a whole different story. You have to ask Neptune, King of the Sea. He can usually tell you that they are located on the streets so I can turn on the right. But if you ask him politely, he'll still reply, I'm a woodpecker. So you see, it's always nice to ask politely. So, are y'all with me? And there you have it. So, kids, wasn't that exciting? Join us next week for more fun as our special guest Mayor McCheese shall help us discover the many different types of hippies. And you'll all also get a chance to watch me eat some more coral. See you next time.